Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will see how Arduino works in backend. You may happily skip this session and start our experiments from the next session onwards. And if you want, if you are really interested how this technology works, what are the minor backend maneuvers which Arduino takes to help you upload your program to microcontroller, then you probably want to stay till the end. So any program, any uh, application if you if you come here so we'll first see the compiler part so compiler is a program uh, which converts your Arduino program into machine understandable form so if you if you recall your C programming classes uh, where, wherever you took you first write program in a in a text file then you do a compile maybe in Windows using Turbo C or something and in Linux using GCC you know GNU C compilers, you compile the program and convert it into machine readable form. It's the same here, the Arduino, it uses a cross compiler because Arduino is not x86 compliant device, it's a AVR microcontroller so it has a different instruction set. For that we require a cross compiler. So AVR GCC is a cross compiler and to see how this compiler works we need to um, invoke a debug information in Arduino IDE so you remember this is our previous program go to file preferences and enable these two options show verbose output during compilation and upload so now if you do a compile you see a bunch of options on both these screens so it's easy to see in our big screen Let me resize this window a little bit and you can see it starts from here. Uh, it says uh, Arduino 1.6.5 hardware tools AVR bin AVR G++. So this is the first compiler program which gets invoked when you hit a verify button. So when you hit and verify this program gets translated into so AVR G++ format then this AVR G++ is operated on your program. You want to see your AVR G++ converted program you can simply go to this file and view. So let me copy this and let's go to file browser paste it and our file is sketch underscore set 03a dot cpp okay so you can find in the temp directory in windows you can find the path from your debug information sketch underscore scp 03a dot cpp is the file translated translated from your arduino programming language so you wrote a simple program to blink a led at connected to pin number 13 like this and this program when you hit verify gets converted you know because of this debug information all over here it says take this AVR G++ G++ is uh, C++ program compiler compile it zero optimization bunch of other options microcontroller 328p you are doing a cross compiler there you are using this CPU 16 megahertz etc and finally you are taking this file and this file doesn't exist so Arduino automatically creates this file in the backend and keeps it for you so every time you do a compile operation there is a file created in temp directory something like this build 49 something the next time when you compile this will be maybe different and here you will have this sketch underscore sep 03cpp so click on this file you can see this looks very very similar to your Arduino code. So let me keep them side by side. Yeah. So this is your C++ program now. So here we haven't written any Arduino.h or uh, anything else. But this automatically get translated into this form. So now this program is applied with AVR G++ 
and each of these functions like the functions like loop setup digital write they all written in various other files so all these files gets invoked then finally it gets linked and you get this hex file the end you can see slash temp build 4906 something sketch cpp dot hex so if you try to locate this hex file you will find somewhere here this is your hex file and and fortunately you can view the hex file unlike the x86 binaries which you cannot view in a plain text editor the cross compiled microcontroller friendly binary is viewable so here you can see a bunch of uh, hexadecimal values uh, and each value has significance it doesn't go in uh, file format it and this and there is another program which you will see right now is responsible for decoding this file and sending to microcontrollers rom and that programmer program is avr dude so it sounds a bit funky the name of the avr dude but <coughs> so the next section is uploader so so far we have seen what we have done is we took this program we compiled it it automatically uh, converted into C++ program which we have seen here this is a C++ program this C++ program is again compiled using bunch of C++ cross compilers and you get this hexadecimal executable and this hexadecimal executable goes into microcontrollers ROM not in exact this format but the hexadecimal values goes into respective memory location so this first two numbers which is this hexadecimal 10 hexadecimal 10 is uh, 16 in decimal so the 16 values uh, here they goes to microcontroller from address space 00, zero sorry from address space 000, zero zero onwards 000, zero 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 onwards so after these 16 bytes again from address 0010 zero zero zero, you send the next 16 similarly 2030 and so on so this is how you send how many bytes 1030 zero zero bytes Now come to the upload part. So let me hit an upload button and we'll know what happens in the upload and it says upload done. So when upload done, you can see up to this part it was the compiler AVRG++. So after that, here comes the AVR dude. So AVR dude is again a binary file which is available in your tool avr bin folder this binary file used to actually this avr dude program is very popular among microcontrollers this can be used for many other microcontrollers as well so arduino is one of the supported device it takes the file from here configuration files avr dude.conf which is available again in the arduino 1.6.5 so this 1.6.5 which we unzipped from the downloaded file from the Arduino website contains everything contains AVR Dude, G++ compiler, cross compiler and this configuration file and the contents of the configuration files are here. Uh, it says USB port is slash dev TT by ACM0. How do you know? Because in the IDE you can see it says slash dev TT by ACM0. Programmer name is Arduino. The programmer name could be different. It could be a tiny ISP. It could be HTK 500. There are many programmers, supported programmers for AVR Dude. Uh, baud rate is 115200, which means bits per second transferred. Microcontroller is at mega 328p, and some other parameters which we need not to worry about. So here's the interesting part. So it says. AVR device initialized and ready to accept instructions. So what does it mean? It means first it does a read operation. Who does a read operation? AVR do does a read operation. It finds out the device signature. 
So this device signature 0x1e950f is a hexadecimal value, three bytes of hexadecimal value. This says that it is an at mega 328p device and the AVI dude understands that okay with programmer Arduino, Arduino as a programmer and the device signature as uh, 0x1e950f, this device is nothing but our Arduino Uno. Then it reads the input file, which is our hex file. We all know the hex file. This is our hex file. It reads 1030 bytes. So let me show you one more thing before we start. Uh, so, okay. So let me not confuse you with this. Here I want to show you. The actual content, actual size of this file, sketch underscore scp03cpp.hex. It's not 1030 bytes because it's quite obvious. So this is our hex file. Let me right click and properties. The 1030 bytes are used to transfer to microcontroller. So the file size, actual file size is 2.9 kilobytes. Okay. So 2.9 kilobytes of file, only 1030 bytes are useful for us. So those 1030 bytes which we have seen here, like uh, these numbers, not these, the first two are number of bytes to send, address and this. So only from each line, this much segment is sent to the microcontrollers ROM. Coming back to the terminal, it reads the input file hex file 1030 bytes read. It wrote those 1030 bytes to where? To microcontrollers ROM. Then it again read the data to just verify whether the sent data is same as what is received. So once it gets verified, it says AVI do it done. Thank you. This means you have successfully written the program. So this completes our second part AVI do it. And this surprisingly brings us to the last section bootloader because this AVI do it communicates with bootloader, which we haven't discussed so far. So you might have noticed. So let me show it again. Let me compile the program again and quickly show you what happens. So I hit upload button and I directly come here. You can see when the compile is done, this TX and RX pins, they blinked for a while. And then this LED start blinking immediately. So I haven't done any manual reset. The reset is bringing the microcontroller to the start position. It's like starting your computer. So it auto starts the microcontroller. It auto starts the Arduino. How? This is because the bootloader program. So what is bootloader? First of all, we already uh, heard about bootloader. So bootloader is a program which uh, bootloader is a piece of firmware in your microcontroller that allows you installing new firmware using an external programmer. So what is a firmware? Firmware is a program which cannot be uh, erased with normal operation. Fine. So out of this 32 kilobytes, clear the markers so we know the technical specification for Arduino it has 32 kilobytes of ROM so out of this 32 kilobytes 0.5 kilobytes that is 500 bytes approximately is used for bootloader and bootloader comes pre-installed on Arduino microcontroller you can modify the bootloader and reinstall you can update the bootloader using bootloader upload instructions you can see in the IDE as well there is an option to burn bootloader. So no need to go into that section now. So this 32 kilobytes of at mega ROM 0.5 is used by bootloader and that 0.5 bootloader memory is first is responsible to communicate with the PC. So this 0.5 communicates with AVI dude at this position. And once the AVI dude operation says AVI dude done, thank you, it automatically 
brings the reset pin low so when when we had to finish this um, at mega 3 to at mega 16 uh, device which is programmed as USB to serial programmer brings a reset line low so it is connected to the reset of this microcontroller it connects reset of this microcontroller and that makes this microcontroller reset pin goes go low which makes this microcontroller reset automatically so it's a active low reset so once it gets a zero volts it get reset and you see the program gets running immediately so what happens let me uh, revise the entire thing first uh, let me clear all the markers first of all you write a program here this program get converted into a cpp file and something like this the cpp file then compiled using cross compiler avrg++ then you get this hexadecimal file this hexadecimal file gets uh, gets into microcontrollers rom using avi dude programmer and this avi dude programmer communicates with bootloader of this microcontroller rom which is a 0.5 kb size which is pre-installed on arduino microcontroller this after finishing the upload operation the bootloader uh, sorry after finishing the upload operation this usb to serial chip makes this a uh, DTR pin low which makes this reset enable the microcontroller gets reset and your code gets automatically executed so that's a very basic uh, information on how Arduino works technically there are many other uh, attributes are there to learn other things you can explore by yourself or you can discuss over forums I think this is good enough to start with I think this you have got enough motivation to start uh, writing your programs. So let's get into Arduino programming language in next session. See you then.